Hey, man, I, I've been doing a lot of thinking lately about ways we can make this team stronger. Just from playing against these guys out on the court, I have a few suggestions on players who I think would greatly help our chances of winning. You uh, interested in hearing them? Yeah, let's hear them. I've really grown to respect your opinion, so some first-hand recommendations would be great. Why don't you go ahead and give me the names of up to five players you'd like me to trade for? Yeah, what's going on, everybody? It's our pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. And it looks like management has finally given me the chance to pick five players that I want traded to my team. Now, we all know they will not trade all five players. They will not trade me no superstars unless they I'm willing to give up a superstar. So, after going through the whole list of the NBA, I decided that I finally got the five people that I want on my team that I can hopefully work with. Now... When I first turned it on, I wanted Carmelo Anthony. I was drawing. I was drawing. Um, I wanted a lot of big time players, but I decided my team doesn't have a legit big man. LaMarcus Aldridge is not a center. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to go after some safe picks. Now, my first pick was Tyson Chandler. Now, we all know he's a great center. You know, he won a chip. He's getting old, but his, his trade value was only two stars. And I decided that that was a smart choice. You know, you can't go after the guys who got four stars, five stars, four and a half stars, all this nonsense because you're not going to get those players. Now, I was sitting on top of Iguodala for a second. Now, I know Iguodala isn't a great player in real life, but on the game, he's a superstar. It's that simple. But I decided not to go with Iggy. I was like, mm, because I was looking for a small forward and I was thinking like, okay, Wesley Matthews is at the three. He's a good three-point shooter, but he's not a great finisher when it comes to going to the rack. Now, on 2K, you don't necessarily have to be a three-point shooter to be effective from the three-point line. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to chill. I'm going I'm to let, let Wesley Matthews get better overall as he plays with me. And I decided to go after a center from Detroit. Now, I know a lot of people like, do Andre Drum, do Andre Drum. And I'm like, you know what, I'm going I'm to try to grab Greg Monroe. But then I was like, nah, the trade value is too much. So I ended up going with Drummond as my second pick. And I was like, you know what, that's a safe pick. He's a rookie. His trade value isn't worth anything. They do have Monroe over there. So I was like, you know what, that's easy. I'll be able to get that pick, hopefully. And maybe if Drummond comes over, we can do something. Now... I was still looking for more centers. I was like, you know what? That's not enough centers to actually try to get. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going after everything that I need to go after. I even was thinking about Nene. I was thinking about buying them. And I'm like, am I really going to get these guys? So I decided to pick Nene over buying them because buying them, he's a higher trade value. There's no way in hell I'll be able to get him without giving away somebody like LaMarcus Aldridge. And that's not what I wanted to do. Now, my fourth pick was DeAndre Jordan just because of the simple fact that his trade value isn't that great. And he's a great lot. Like, you can lob so many passes to this guy and have no problems at all. And he's a he's a force in a paint just because of his size you know on 2k you don't necessarily have to be great you just have to have unbearable size now my fifth and last pick this is going to be a funny pick i had to go with tyreek evans man my homie from chester i had to go with him i would love to have him at the two guard with me you know what i'm saying but let's get back into this y'all let's hear this okay sounds good i'll start reaching out to the various gms and see if any are interested in making something happen i just need you to understand that we're going to need to trade some assets to get one of these guys hopefully i can make something happen here and with that being said the gm is filling my style he filling my picks and he didn't even complain about anybody i picked i thought he was going to complain about tyreek evans but you did hear him say that they're going to have to trade away assets to get some of these other guys so Hopefully they get somebody good and I'm out.